GM Connected. Brought to you by Verizon. Verizon, rule the air. Quebec, that's where we are, where hockey and Montreal synonymous for this one between the Canadiens and the Coyotes. Bill, we look at a situation, a game where maybe the five-on-five five is going to matter more than specialty teams. Well, well, listen, it also, I think, is going to involve not being afraid to take a penalty. If you've got a good PK unit, go out there and rough somebody up. Try to get an advantage. Your unit's going to kill it off. Up the boards. Sends it in. Cavallari intercepts that one. Two on two the other way. Chance to score. He's got it. Here's an opportunity. McGinn. Good effort on the poke check. That'll roam that puck away. Trying to dig that puck up against the wall. Up the wing he comes. Good pass to Hickey. Offensive rush. Three on two. He'd love to get that shot back again because that's where he wanted to get his shot from. Give me one more chance from there. Now he's going to have to work all over again to get to that position. Sweet. Nice work. Wrist shot on net. Finds a loose puck, holds it in. Two plus one. He'll play it again. Little easy dump into the opposite side corner. We're going to get a penalty called here. Delayed call. They'll get the extra man. He's heading over to the bench. Delayed penalty. The Canadians are going to have to send one to the sin bin. Two minutes for roughing. Montreal's penalty killers will take to the ice and try and keep this one at a tie game. They work that puck along the blue line in the offensive zone. Up to the point. Quick shot. Pretty easy pad save for him. Let's see what the call is. This play stops. The Canadians are going to be short-handed here. They get two for roughing. One's gone. Phoenix is going to get an extension of their power play on this call. Markov breaks it up. There's the shot. Oh, what a save. Oh, what an unbelievable save this was. A one-timer. That's tough enough to begin with, but a sniper launching it? Oh, baby. Swung back to the point. Snap that one. Shot scores. Power play goal. Phoenix's effort finally results in a goal. They take advantage of it here in this first period. Well, we'll see if they can hold it. I'm doubting they can. We're on the power play by number 14, Justin Williams. Armstrong. Needed to clear the end, and he did. Through center ice they come. That one on the tape as he heads up ice. Gets rid of that in a hurry. Long way to go with it. Good blocker save. And down it goes. That's a clear out of the zone. Power play opportunity. Let's see what they can do as they organize. Purcell. Through center to Gustafson. Gets it into the zone. What a deep Love save. Goaltender freezes that for a draw. Hoping someone comes in to pick it up. He ties up the man on the draw. Phoenix's opportunity on the power play is over. They'll credit one goal to that power play unit. That was a long opportunity, though. Goalie's out. We'll get the extra player on the ice. They'll keep the offense rolling here. He finds that loose puck. With that whistle on the delayed call, let's see who that was on. Phoenix is penalty. Two minutes. Tripping. The Canadians' power play unit advances on the ice. Here's a chance to get this game tied up. Watch out here. Flaring effort works. They'll start this rush from their own end. To Camilleri. Snap that one on net. Keep that thing in the offensive zone. He did. 
chance. Scores! But uh, hang on. Uh, we've got it waved off, and that may be a kicked-in puck. The goal is under review. We're going to have to wait on this one, Bill. There's an issue here about whether that got kicked in. I, I, I don't know. Did it look like it to you? I, I didn't think so. Well, you know what? It has to be a distinct kicking motion, and I think I might have seen some of that. All the players were watching because this goal really mattered, and it counts. Yeah, without a doubt. Were they going to be able to sit there and celebrate, or were they going to have to play catch-up again? that away long reach breaks it up in the defensive zone that one straight up the middle gives himself a chance big shot the coyotes skaters create another chance again in that slot area and again they're finding a way to bring that puck in close price's goaltending is the difference on that play bill that odd man rush should have resulted in something offensively and it didn't Hang on, we're going to have to bring the uh, crew out here. Take a look at this glass shattery. Gary, they better bring their brooms and a shovel because there's glass everywhere. It just splintered, and it doesn't even matter whether it's intentional or not. If you trip a guy like this, you're going. Nice play to control that puck down low. Montreal's ability to uh, have an effective forecheck, aggressively so, showing up early in this one. Power play unit still out. Picks that one up in the defensive zone. To Carter. He'll lug that in. That's the goal-scoring effort right there. He got in to shoot, but he had nowhere to go with the puck. And he gets that one out of the zone. To Camilleri. He's already picked up a power play goal in this game, and he's out there in this unit again. Able to pick that puck up uh, and able to control it. Nice use of the stick. Markov. Running out of time here in the first. Cleared into that wide side zone. One more opportunity down the power play. Pass up the boards. Two on two the other way. Phoenix's penalty has ended. Getting over the boards, back on the ice. Teams are back at even strength. Loose puck and he's got it. Takes a shot. Oh, what a save. And he freezes the puck. That's a nice shot. That's a scoring opportunity right there denied. Controls that one. So we've got 20 minutes tucked away into the history books. After one, it is 1-1. One, one. Outstanding game so far. What we're going to ask is, can they maintain it? Yeah, good rhythm, good offense, some good defense. I mean, pick something. It is all in front of our eyes in this game. And it's been saves like this that have given them the opportunity to be in this game as we head to our intermission. With that puck drop, our second period's underway. Hangs on to that one in the offensive zone. Faceoff coming with that covered up puck. Weber. To Vermette. To Cole. Puck down low. He's able to get control of it. Had his head down and rocked him. Bowling. Snaps it. Picks it up in the slot. Morris's stick after that puck, chop it away. There's a pass up ice. That'll go to the point. Mercer. To Bowling. To Carter. Good poke check to free that puck up. At the point, he gains possession of that puck. Pacioretty is positioning in front of that net and working at it. 
Up through center ice with that pass out of the D zone. Move back up to the point to Savard. Able to rip that one, a big one-timer. Nice quick snap. He's got that one on the stick. That was just wobbling around for a minute. Take advantage of the end of that stick. He pokes it away in the defensive end. Carter. To Camilleri. They want to give the offense a chance, keep that puck in the zone. He does. I'm up on the play. So another whistle, a delayed call. We'll see what the call is. The Coyotes are going to be shorthanded for two minutes. The penalty hitting from behind. Montreal's chance on the power play comes. They are one for two. Get their third chance here. To Subban. Heads that one off the one-timer. Great save made on a one-timer that he got a lot of. Nice effort right there, Bill. There's a goaltender. Right place, right time. And, Gareth, if we didn't know this goaltender had a glove, we do now. Chance to create some opportunities here as he comes up the wing. Clears it out down the length. Markov. To Pacioretty. Rebound shot. He shoots. He scores. And they've got another one with the extra skater. Phoenix, a shorthanded unit, has not been able to kill off enough penalties. No, very surprising. We mentioned at the top of the show how both of these teams have excellent PK. Right now, the percentage kills for this PK team are getting drilled. Good defense on him as he got knocked away. Stars! And three unanswered goals sit up there now. Well, there's the offense that they wanted. With that last goal, they have stretched this lead, but there's still a lot of time left. And I think that's the enemy. Sometimes you can go soft with a big lead if you get it too early. Big save! Gets the stick on that. To Purcell. Two on two on the right. Kostitsen. That one off that side and up. Picks it up in the offensive end. Big time effort. That's the offensive zone. Good positioning with that glove save. There's the whistle for the icing as the player touches that one up. Got it on the stick. Big shot. There's a chance. Scores. Oh, that's four and answered goals on the board. Late period goal, second period, substantial lead. That about sums it up. One team is driving downhill. The other team is driving uphill. There's no flat road here. What a save with the glove. Needs to clear the zone. Williams, very clear. And we've completed two. Four to one at the end of two. A very one-sided physical game so far. Getting out hit is one thing, Gary, but just about getting run out of the building, that's close to being embarrassing. Face off, third period underway. Picks it up. Good timing on that. Gets the shot off. Big battle between the two of them along the wall. Quick shot. Use the glove. Price's effort here is to cover that puck up, and he does. We'll get a face off. That's a pretty good scoring opportunity right there. Goaltender with a nice play to deny. Near the crease, trying to move it to Vermette. Kostitsen. To Hansel. Still has it in the offensive end. 
Price's glove is over that one. We'll get a faceoff. Under four minutes gone by here in the third. Montreal's lead will give them a little room to open things up if they want. They're up by three. He'll carry the puck up the wing this time. Picks that up. Good play to get that puck away. He'll carry it now. Trying to find a little room. Big save off a one-timer. To Hickey. Offside, and that will get a whistle. Subban connects on that one up the wing. Here they come. Two on one opportunity. Ends the rush. Covered up. Bergenheim. Puck down there somewhere as they try and dig it out. To the point. Oh, he wristed that one. Good use of the blocker. Gets the interception to Markov. There's a long shot, but he got it off quickly. Offensive strategy here. Find a way to go with it up the middle. Got the puck down low. Good chance in tight. Save and a great one. Price has got his glove on that one. We'll get a draw. Bill, that's one where he uh, could have relaxed a bit, thinking he wasn't going to get a shot, but a backhand opportunity is denied here. Nice work. Nice breakup. Up the near side boards. Here's a two-on-one. Play is going to go on here, but we're going to get a penalty. This is going to be a delayed call. Heads to the bench. He wants to get off for the extra attack, man. Vermette. Ref skating over. Another whistle, another call. Let's get it. The Coyotes down a man tripping. That's two. Phoenix's penalty killing unit will be coming out one for three so far. Penalty to number 39, Young To Hickey. Attempts to clear. DK breaks that one up. To Carter. To Pacioretty. He's picked up two on the score sheet. Plessler. Wants to clear. They've got to get out now on side. To Camilleri. Not going to lose that one. Holds it in. Has that puck in the office behind the net. Plus, is really putting the hits on now, Bill. And, Gary, once he locks on and gets tone, look out. You're going to get hit. That is not going to count as a shot on net. Well, from there, you have to generate a shot on goal because you've got guys crashing for the rebound. Face off coming up. That whistles for the offside. Under six minutes left to go here in the third period. Carter's really increased the climb to the opposition with that last goal. The Coyotes' offense carrying that puck into the slot again. That was working earlier, but I don't think anymore. No, there's nothing there. They're going to have to get the puck out wide to open up the middle. That puck was up for grabs. He's got it. Nice save of the glove of the goaltender. Picks that puck up along the point. Purcell's really banging away in front of the net. That'll keep this offense going. He's got it. Oh, there's a shot in goal scoring area. Great save. He'll control it at the point. Good wrist shot. Shot blocked. To Ward. Good poke check to knock that away and break up the offensive attack. Gets that puck. Not much balance in this game. This has been a blowout, and we're closing in on the end of it. Moves that up ice in a hurry. And they're into the zone. Two on one. Offensive chance. That's a great place for a shot. Morris. Markov's teammate gives him a stick there, so that keeps that line pumping at full strength. No balance. Couldn't control it. He's got it out deep. Nice defense in his own end. Takes that puck up the wing and through the neutral zone. The Coyotes will touch that one up. That'll be an icing call.
has the loose puck. Wrist shot on. Off the blocker. There's a battle. Dig it in. Nice pass. Headmans. That one up the wing. Oh, man, did he wipe him out right there. That's how you get the puck free. Good pad save. What a great chance. And that'll do it. Montreal Snipers loaded it up and fired early. And as a result, they come away with a big win. Well, it would have taken a collapse for them to lose. I mean, they had the game where they wanted it. They deserve full marks for putting it away, but it was an easy third period.